everybody, my name is Gerald Cooper, and I am the owner of Envision Comics and the creator of Genesee. It's the grand cosmic opera that we presented to you in issue number one, and everyone seems to like it so far. So we're going to try to come out with a second issue, and that's where you come in if we need your help. But before we go any further, let's give you a little uh, review of the first issue, and uh, tell me what you think. Cooper, the art director for Envision Comics. Genesee issue number one can be purchased at www.envisioncomics.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. We launched issue number one at the Wizard World Chicago Comic Con in 2009. In 2010, we attended comic conventions in Philadelphia, Atlanta, and in Cincinnati, Ohio. Genesee became noted by many comic fans as an epic blockbuster. We've received rave reviews from critic Adam McGovern on Comic Critique and Brad Belmore of the online magazine Archive issue number 28. We gained over 4,500 national and international fans on the Envision Comics Facebook page. We constantly receive artistic renditions of Genesee from around the world. My wife and I funded 100% of the first issue, which took over seven years to complete. And now everyone is asking us for issue number two. With a project, an artist of this magnitude, of this caliber, it takes a great deal of money to fund. That's where you come in. In order to keep this comic book going, we are asking for $4,000, which will go towards paying our pencil artists, Diego Bernard and Carlo Dotson, our colorist, Orrin Kramick, and our animator for the motion comic, Dustin Mason. Now I'd like to introduce to you the rest of our team. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Carlo Dotson and I am one of the artists for Vision Comics. I am currently penciling a title called Trials of Ten Ant and it can be found in the back of issue number two of Genesee. It's a story involving our main character and how he lived his life prior to becoming Genesee. At Kickstarter, this is where we need your help. This is where we need your funding and any type of assistance that you can give us. The type of resources that it takes to create a comic are extensive, and we don't have that many. So please, if you can help us, we'll be highly appreciated.
be able to put the best product out there that we possibly can. I can guarantee that. And my brain shut down. Howdy, I'm Orrin Kramick, and I do the colors and letters for Genesee. It's really great to be a part of the Genesee team, as their talent and dedication have given this story of a voice and power that is truly unique. What I particularly enjoy about this project is the character Genesee himself, as he's entirely made up of red and blue light. This is kind of cool, as when I color the page, I like to look at light as a character himself. Whether the scene takes place indoors or outdoors or in the dark, cold void of space, the light has a way of setting the mood and tone of the scene. With Genesee, the character is actually made of light, so this is kind of cool and kind of fun to work with. This is what a page looks like when I get it in black and white. And this is what it looks like after I've added the colors. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.